Pit my motoka in binderi deki. Pit my cam, pit my cam. Okay, shake body, 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 dus, dus. Shake body, 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 dus, dus. Jina langu ni Toby Shondos. I'm inviting people to join our family. Justina ni mama yao na Pascali. Justina ni mama alifariki tarehe 17 mwezi wa 8 mwaka 2014. Mimi na yeye tumefahamiana tukiwa kanisani ilikuwa tu mimi natumika pale kanisani yeye pia alikuwa anatumika pale kanisani basi akamwona kuniamini. Basi kwa kuwa walikuwa waelewe lugha wa Pascal akaamua kuniita na kuniambia kwamba mimi ni msaidie kuongea na huyo mzungu maana yeye aelewi lugha. I'll sponsor me to school and mom can take care of the, to the children. Um, but then she got very sick. Kadri siku zinavyozidi kwenda ule mama alikuwa bado ni mgonjwa na pia huyo mzungu alikuwa mpata anaitwa Susan. Susan naye kabidi arudi kwao maana muda wake wa kukaa hapo alikuwa umeisha. Basi alipoondoka hapa Susan akawa anatumia watu wengine ambao ni watu wazima of course kwa kwa anatuma pesa lakini wale watu walikuwa sio waaminifu pesa ikitumwa haifiki kwa ile mama na ile mama kumbuka kwamba alikuwa ni mgonjwa na pia aliwahi kufungulia kafe lakini kafe alishindwa kuiendesha kwa sababu ugonjwa ulikuwa umezidi ela hata kuendesha maisha yake kulipa kodi watoto kula ikawa imemshinda kwa sababu sasa ela alikuwa atumii kafe alifunga akawa na namna yoyote. Basi kwa namna ile mimi nikawa nimeiona nikawa nafika pale na muangalia siku nyingine na mimi naomba hata pesa nyumbani napeleka na msaidie hivyo hivyo kwa kuwa nilikuwa nimeshajiingiza kwenye moyo wa kumsaidia na pia linaamini. Tulikuwa nimepata mawasiliano ya Suza, nikawasiliana na Suza ni Canada. Nikamweleza hali halisi ilivyo Tanzania kwamba ile mama anaendeleaje na sasa hivi yukoje basi ndo akasasa kana akawa anatuma hela tukao tunamsaidia ile mama lakini yale aliyokuwa amefikia msaada ulikuwa ni mdogo tayari ile mama akawa amepoteza uhai mnamo tarehe 17 mwezi wa 8 2014 acha kama mziko ile mama watoto sasa ndo sasa nikawasiliana sasa nitufanyaje hao watoto kwa ile mama aliyokuwa na kana alikuwa na uwezo kwa hiyo ikabidi tumchukue Pascali tumlete hapa ili tuweze kumsaidia kwa karibu. Ile mara ya kwanza kabisa kuonana nao nilionana nao ilikuwa ni kanisani. Eh, kuna sehemu fulani ambayo nakwenda kuabudu pale ndo nikaja nika nikakutana na mama yake. Mama yake akaniambia kwamba mtoto wake ana ana matatizo ya kifua kifua kinambana kina na nakooa kwa muda mrefu alafu ana homa kwa hiyo moja kwa moja nikabidi nimlete hapa kwa ajili ya matibabu 
kwa ajili ya matibabu ambayo ilikuwa ni dawa pamoja na na vipimo. Kwa hiyo katika vile vipimo tukamfanyia vipimo vile tukaja tukampa dawa kwa ajili ya ki shida ilikuwa zaidi ilikuwa ni kifua. Alikuwa na pneumonia kwa tukamchoma sindano za pneumonia tukampa na dawa. Lakini hakupata nafuu yoyote. Akarudi mara ya pili akaja akamrudisha ndio tukao tumeanza kususpect kitu cha namna hiyo kwa ndo tukamfanyia vipimo. Baada ya mama Pascal kufariki nilikuja nikampata Joshua pamoja na Susan wao ndo walikuja kujitolea kwa ajili ya kuja kumwangalia Pascal. Kwa hiyo ikabidi niwafundishe namna ya kumtunza e, kuanzia kwenye kiafya ambayo ni afya ya tuseme yani matibabu pamoja na kwa ujumla kwa matunzo yake ya kimwili. Right now Rita is staying with her mama. Uh-huh. And Pascal because he's been so sick he's staying yeah. with Joshua and his family. Uh-huh. Kitu kilicho nisukuma mimi nikaenda nikamchukua Pascal. Pascal aliumwa akabadilika. Akabadilika sana. Na Pascal alipungua kilo hadi kilo 14 kutoka kilo 19 kwa akawa ameisha akawa afanani ngozi kama imebadilika akawa anaumwa mara kwa mara kwa nikamchukua nikampeleka kwa daktari daktari akasema kwamba mtoto hali yake sio nzuri na hii ni kutokana na malazi na lishe pia apati lishe bora kwa mkicheza huyu mtoto kuna hatiati ya kuweza kumpoteza kwa sasa ile huruma walivoniambia hatiati ya kumpoteza nikaingia na huruma sana moyoni kaje nikaongea na familia japokuwa kulitokea changamoto changamoto hapo katikati lakini baadaye wakaja waka accept ikamchukua na sasa mimi ndo naishi naye na lala naye kila kitu yani kila kitu namfanyia Pascal mimi kama mimi na kuangalia na kulaje analalaje amemkaja leo asubuhi na kumsindikiza pia shule the mama she been asked there is any problem she said that there is kuna siku moja Pascal aliumwa kifua tu kile kilimjia basi aka, akawa yani ana joto kali limemjia na kifua kile kina yani kile kifua cha ndani kabisa cha kulia njwe 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 basi nilimchukua nikamtoa nje apate kwanza hewa apate ule upepo baadaye nikaenda kwa matron nikamuelezea akampeleka hospitali daktari 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 cha kwanza tulichofanya ni kwamba tukachukua sampo ya damu kwa ajili ya kwenda kufanya vipimo vya CD4 ili tuone kwamba CD4 zake ziko kwa kiwango gani ili tumwanzishie ERV kwa kile kipimo kikaja kika kikafanyika kule ilikuwa ni AICC hospital majibu ya kaja yakaonyesha kwamba kipimo chake ni kwamba yani hakisomi chochote kwamba yani ile CD4 yani ni kwamba zinakuwa ni almost ni mili yani inakuwa ni sifuri And while I was in transit, um Pascali was hospitalized. Um he was very sick and I learned that he almost died. So I arrived and instead of a welcoming party, we had a get together at the hospital, I guess you could say. He was in and out of the hospital quite a bit. He had countless needles, IVs, oxygen, and at one point I even prayed, if this is his life, take him now. But anyway, he's well now. We're getting him treatment. We got him. We took him to the the best hospital. Uh found the best doctor. We've gotten him good medicine and now we're on track um to get him to a healthy place. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, that look like you. Yes, that's not me. Okay. Anajitahidi anakuwa kama wale wenzake. Kama nikiambiwa ni mchagua ni mchagua mwanafunzi bora ndamchagua ni Pasco kwa sababu ana uwezo ana uwezo wa kusoma ana uwezo wa kuandika ana uwezo pia wa ku wa ku try to speak english ni ngumu changamoto nazozipitia mimi kuishi na Pascal hapa nyumbani ni hivyo akiuma usiku kutafuta usafiri kumkimbiza hospitali na hivyo sasa kuanza kutafuta vyakula ambavyo ni special vya kwake na kipato ni kidogo pia kwa hiyo kuna sana ugua tu pape vinapanda kwa sababu ana kosa body defense kwa tunashindwa namna ya kumhudumia inabidi kumhudumia kwake ni vyakula tu na vyakula kuvipata ni kazi kwa kweli
akiwa na watu ambao ni wakaribu inakuwa ni vizuri waendelee kumpa moyo ingawaje hafahamu lakini ule ukaribu wa kucheza naye pamoja na kuonekana kwamba na ni mmoja wa sehemu ya jamii itamsaidia vile vile katika matibabu ambayo tunaendelea kumpatia e, hicho tu ni kikubwa ndio hicho ndo cha msingi Another important part of what I'm doing is uh, when I first met Rita shortly after she said, told me that God loves white people more that haunted me um, she said he loves us more because he gives us the money part of the reason that we come here a lot of us is because of the heart that's here I want her to learn that she has a place and a purpose here and it's not because of me perhaps I'm help giving her some opportunities but I want her to find her strength Rita wants to be a journalist that's a pretty powerful thing so she can uh, we can get her the education that she needs, give her the confidence that she needs. She can she can absolutely change where she comes from. Because she has an awful lot to, to offer and change the community. Long term, this is a long term project. Pascal is only seven. Um, he's in nursery school. So we're looking at a lot, a lot of years of education. We're looking at university, hopefully, for all three kids. Um, Private schools, boarding schools, they're, they're not free. Um, and I want to give them the best opportunity I can. For the future, I, I hope to open a home that will support children uh, with HIV in the community who don't have parents specifically or people who, who can care for them. I want to show this community that children can get well and live well and contribute.